Studies have shown that the effects of sleep loss are similar to having a blood alcohol content over the legal driving limit. Sleep loss can cause the following performance problems when driving. Slower reaction time, such as taking more time to react when another vehicle does something unexpected or there is an obstacle on the road. Impaired driving, such as drifting from your lane. Trouble paying attention, such as missing an exit or losing your way. Difficulty learning. Trouble remembering what happened or what you need to do next. Studies show that in addition to reducing your performance, sleep loss can cause some health problems. Sleep loss can cause an increased risk of cardiovascular disease and diabetes. Not getting enough sleep can also affect your metabolism and appetite, leading to weight gain and obesity. Sleep loss causes immediate safety concerns, but it also affects your overall health. Your body needs seven to eight continuous hours of sleep. You cannot adjust to sleep loss over time. Many drivers think that they need less sleep or can learn over time to perform at a high level even when sleep deprived, but this is not true. The demands of driving don't reduce the effects of sleep loss. All people need to get seven to eight hours of sleep in a row. Fatigue awareness and fatigue management are critical to helping keep you and your loved ones safe on the road. Fatigue awareness refers to knowing how tired you are at the present and anticipating how tired you will be in the future. Remember, studies have shown that fatigue can affect people similarly to alcohol. Going without sleep for 24 hours can be like having a blood alcohol content over the legal driving limit. The more tired you are, the less able you are to accurately gauge your fatigue level. Even when you are fatigued, you may not feel tired or sleepy. If you do feel tired or sleepy, then you should listen to your body and get some rest. Fatigue awareness also means that you anticipate how tired you will be in the near future. You can use your knowledge about how long you have gone without sleep, what time it is, and any other contributing factors to think ahead about your tiredness. Fatigue awareness helps you plan your schedule to maximize alertness and minimize fatigue. There are some common myths on ways to stay awake while driving. The following are not good fatigue management practices. Listening to the radio or turning the volume up. Turning on the air conditioning or opening a window. Chewing gum. While you might feel that they are helpful for a short period of time, they will not reverse your fatigue. If you are fatigued, you need to stop and get some sleep. The only way to reverse fatigue and sleepiness is to get more sleep. Drivers need to be alert to operate their vehicles safely. You might be in a hurry to get where you're going and not want to stop, but reduced alertness levels not only puts your life at risk, but also jeopardizes the safety of others on the road. Fatigue affects the abilities of all people, which decreases overall safety. Fatigue causes you to have slower reaction times, be more careless when completing tasks, and be more likely to have an incident or accident. Fatigue can have serious effects on the quality of your work and personal life, but making positive choices about healthy habits, planning and communication, sleep strategies, and alertness tools can help you manage and reduce your fatigue. The healthier you are in general, the more likely you are to sleep well. You have opportunities to make healthy choices every day. Plan to make healthy food choices.
When going on a road trip, the best solution for your health and wallet is to eat healthy foods, including fresh fruits and vegetables. Pack a cooler full of these foods and snack along the drive. Try to limit the amount of fast food and large meals you eat. Stay hydrated with water. Using products with nicotine, like cigarettes or chewing tobacco, can interfere with your sleep. If you use these products, try not to use them before you have to go to bed before a long drive, since nicotine is stimulating and makes it harder to fall asleep. If you are able to cut back, then you can reduce the amount of nicotine in your system, which will also help you sleep through the night. Using illegal drugs or abusing prescription medication in order to fall asleep or stay awake is very dangerous for your safety and health. Current recommendations suggest adults get two hours and 30 minutes of activity a week. However, getting any amount of activity can help you sleep better and support better overall health. Talk to your doctor before beginning an exercise program. Incorporating activity into your daily life will help improve your sleep quality and support your long-term health. Although your schedule can sometimes be unpredictable, try to follow a routine as much as possible. Plan when you're going to sleep, eat, take medications, and get activity. For longer road trips, plan break locations as well as the timing of the break. Communicate with your family and friends to let them know your schedule. Using good sleep strategies when on the road or at home will help you manage your fatigue. You can improve your sleep environment and sleep behaviors to maximize your quality and quantity of sleep. While it is challenging for you to keep a regular sleep-wake cycle while on the road, these tips can help improve your sleep and reduce the risk of fatigue. Your sleep environment should be dark, quiet, and comfortable. Use shades or eye covers if your room is too bright. Use noise-canceling devices such as fans, white noise generators, and or earplugs. Adjust the room temperature to your preference. Customize your sleeping environment for your own comfort. Some sleep behaviors that can help include limiting food and liquid intake one to two hours before sleeping. Eating too close to bedtime can negatively affect your sleep. Limiting electronic device usage the artificial light generated by a laptop, tablet, or cell phone screen can interfere with your body becoming sleepy. Don't use electronic devices right before you go to bed. Trying not to drink alcohol within four to six hours of when you plan to go to sleep. Drinking alcohol makes you less likely to sleep through the night and can cause nightmares and morning headaches. Caffeine is a stimulant that can temporarily help improve your alertness and performance. However, caffeine affects everyone differently, and using it every day can make it not work as well when you really need it. For the greatest effectiveness, use as needed instead of daily. Use it in moderation. Try not to have more than 200 milligrams per day, about the amount in two cups of coffee. The effects of caffeine last four to five hours on average. For longer road trips, using activity breaks can also be helpful. First, pull over somewhere safe. Then, take 15 to 20 minutes to walk around, stretch, march in place, or do some other light activity. 15 to 20 minute breaks can be effective and the effects are most significant during early morning hours. Now that you have completed this sleep, alertness, and fatigue education training, keep the following points in mind. Be aware. 
your daily sleep patterns and biological clock affect your alertness and performance. Increased sleep loss can decrease your alertness and performance as well as negatively impact your health and safety. Sleep disorders can affect your sleep and alertness every day without you even knowing it, but treatments are available. Fatigue awareness is critical for managing your alertness and fatigue levels. Fatigue is a red alert. Take actions to maximize your daily sleep and alertness levels. Fatigue affects your health and safety. Use fatigue management, including healthy habits, communication and planning, sleep strategies, and alertness tools. Fatigue management can help you sleep more, improve your health, and make the road a safer place. For more information about sleep and sleep disorders, see www.sleepcentral.org.